Hello, I'm Zach, and welcome to another help video from SuperMacWorld.com. Our website, as you can see below, is www.SuperMacWorldNZ.com. And last video, I touched on the basics of iPhoto, and today we're going to go into editing them. So, let's choose to edit this photo. So, on the bottom toolbar, yep, let's click edit. Now, if this was happened to be the wrong way around like that, you can rotate it round. There we go, flip it round. Crop. Now, there's an annoying white bar at the bottom there. So, let's crop, crop that out, shall we? So, you readjust it, pulling on these sides. And apply. There we go. Got rid of that annoying toolbar. And if we, for some reason, wanted to crop only the iPad in the picture, we can do that. Just bring it across. But we don't want to, so let's cancel that. Now, straighten. It may, your thing may be a little off, like it is now. So we want to straighten that. And let's just pull that back to zero. There we go, it looks all straight now. Enhance, automatically enhances it when you touch it. Now, red eye remover. This helps to remove the red eye. Although, don't try plastering it all over the place, or that might happen. And we now think Steve Jobs is frostbite. Retouching. Now, retouching is an interesting feature, but... I, it could be helpful for blurring bits out. Look at, but it's not the greatest of features. And now, effects to the photo. Now, what, let's take Steve Jobs back to the older days, although the only thing it will really change is the space. So here it is, on, off. You want to go sepia, you can go sepia. Now, fade colour. Now, you can adjust the intensity settings of it. You can see the colour fading there. And it's going back. And you can adjust the intensity settings of fade colour, matte, vinaigrette, edge blur, and boost colour. Now, let's switch that off. Let's go back because we don't really want any of those now adjust if we drag it off to the side you can use this to change interesting things um exposure if you want to expo how much light gets onto the object now that's a bit over the top but if you want it to, your image to appear that it's darker than this is you can give it that feeling or lighter. Don't go whack with it though, because otherwise it does get a little over the top. Contrasting colours. Um, now, saturation. Not much effect, but you can see how the colours are changing from a brighter to a darker. As you go through, it's only really noticeable on the back. And it avoids saturating the skin tones, so the skin tones do remain. Now, definition. Do you want it to be defined more on the edges, so that shadow, uh, highlights, highlights certain areas, shadows, increase the shadow, although it may not have the desired effect. Sharpness, make it more sharp, although you can see what that did to his face. Denoise, well... There's no noise in the picture. Now, temperature. Want them to appear in a colder place? You can. Just watch how cold you let them and hot. Just make sure you watch that. And tint. Apply a different colour tint to him. And you can change that. Natural grey or white point. Remove the colour cast. And if you just want to play around, see if they can make good and revert it, then the reset button is all yours. And we can close it here. 
and that's editing iPhoto photos. And next time we will cover albums and smart albums in more detail, as well as a few other features. See you next time.